Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Thanks. How was your day? Good. Yes, good. Did you have a productive day? Yes. Yes. That's yes. the idea. That's the idea, to have productive days. What's today's date? Today is July 28th. Mm. July 28th. What's the year? 2021. 2021, exactly. So let's begin. Do you Hi, remember teacher. the topic? Hello, Felix. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Felix? Um, also good. So Did you have a nice day? Guess. Huh? What? Did you have a nice day? No. No? Work. No. Well, if you have work, that means you're you're blessed. Yes. You know, many people said, oh, I have to work. But many people are saying, I wish I had a, I wish I yes. had a work. That's his term, is, 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 is this the, the true in El Salvador? Exactly. It's a problem in this country. Exactly. Because uh, there are so many people. Looking for that, a job. Yeah, looking true. for a job. True, true. Okay. So let's begin. Um, which topics did we cover yesterday? Mm -hmm. Nothing. No. We were just sitting like this. We didn't say anything. <laughs> we talk about wishes. Yes, we talk about wishes. What is the structure that we use when we talk about wishes? Subject more subject more, plus more, more wish and subject and the bear in plus. past. Yeah, the structure needs to be in past. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say um desearía vivir en el centro? I wish I live in downtown. I wish I lived downtown. Downtown. downtown, right. Me gustaría que no tuviéramos violencia. I wish I didn't we didn't. We didn't have violence. I wish we didn't have violence. Right. And the only didn't didn't have yes. Didn't have. Uh, have didn't have. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, whenever you're using the auxiliary didn't, the form of the verb is always base form. Oh, really? It's always yeah. base form. Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I understood that, but I remember that you tell us the verb. It was in, in past tense. But if the information is positive, yes, the verb is in past. But if it's a if it's a if it's a, if it's negative, the verb stays base form. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. So, anyway, okay. any questions or comments? Today we start with a new tense, a new tense in this course. Maybe it's not new for you. How many tenses are there in English? Twelve tenses. Twelve tenses. Do you remember the names of some of those tenses? Past tense. Past tense. What else? Present perfect. Present perfect. What else? Future. Future. Present continuous, past continuous. There are 12 tenses. Every tense has a different name. Every tense has a different structure. Every tense has a different function. So today we're going to be talking about the present perfect. Um, let me see, two, four, five, 15. All right, let me assign you to working pairs. Let's give a few more minutes to the ones that are not here yet and talk about the information that you have 
about the present perfect. If you don't know anything, if you don't know much, that's okay. That's why we are here. But activate your, your, your knowledge, create rooms, add a room, and talk about the present perfect. I will give you exactly five minutes, and in five minutes, I'll bring you back. Okay. He writes the letters. Mm -hmm. Bill writes the letters. But that is in present. Yes. It's, no. it's present tense or not? No, we have to talk about present perfect. Yeah, present perfect. Ah, okay, sorry. I've been written. Teacher, I've been it's writing. correct the tense. I have tried uh -huh. sushi before. Sure, sure. Ah. Okay. It's something like, um, I don't know, you talk about in present, but it's a consequence that you have. Actually, it, it's an action that yes. starts in the past. Yes. And maybe, maybe continues when you're speaking. Maybe. Absolutely. Is when the uh, in contraction or in is I B? Uh, I apostrophe I, e. I've, I, I've, I've, okay. I've seen you before. Yo la he visto antes. I've seen you before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and what is the form of the verb? 
And past participle. Past participle, exactly, Lorraine. So positive, negatives, or question, the form of the verb is always the same. It doesn't change. So, so it's a combination with the present and past. Uh, it's a combination about an action that starts in the past. Maybe it's still happening. Like you said, I tried sushi before. Are you yes. eating sushi right now? No, maybe you're eating chicken or meat, right? But next week you can try sushi again. So, okay. so when, 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 when the action has the possibility of happening again, uh, that's when you use the present perfect. Okay. All right. Present perfect with, with um, past, uh, present uh, continuous, in the continuous part. Pre present. Like it has been, I have been working. Uh, for this company for 10 years, right. Okay. Or imagine that it's raining right now. He said, man. It's been raining for two hours already. Okay. So it starts in the past and it still continues up to now. Okay. Right. Thank you. All right. Any other questions or comments? No. All right. Let me visit another class. Okay. Uh, progress. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh, but uh, I uh -huh. I has been I never has been re remember the the uh, how it do the the the, the structure the, the structure the structure okay I I has I I has been remember when the structure the the the, the sentences uh, for example. I can say a question. Have, have you traveled um, in another country? Uh -huh. uh, yes, I have. <laughs> Actually, okay. yes, I, what if the answer I is have negative? I, uh, no, I, I haven't. No, haven't. I haven't. No, Excellent. I haven't. Yes. No, I haven't. Yes. Have uh, you ever been in a helicopter? No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> okay no. I never has been in hell. But yeah. I want to. <laughs> right, it would be nice. You know, they're making trips from the Ilopango airport to El Cerro Eramón in Chalate. But okay. they're expensive. They're expensive. Yes, it's uh, expensive. Yes. And and you, you have to want to take a risk. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't like heights. Yes. I don't like high places. <laughs> so, but it would be nice to be in a helicopter. Yes. You know, it would be nice. Being in an airplane is is more possible. It's more common. But a helicopter is is a little bit unusual. We can say. Yes. Yes. All right. Let me yes. visit another yes. classroom. Okay. Yes, an example of of the present perfect. I Questions or that, comments? Uh, it's when he, he, the tense going with have been or ha, have done, has done or something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And when do you use it? What is the function of the present perfect? Uh, it's for for events within a time period up to uh -huh. the present. Okay, good. Anybody else? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what, what is the auxiliary that we use when we talk about the present perfect? Um. Have or has. Have or has. What's the difference? Why two options? Have is when it goes for I, you, we, they. And what? has is for he, she, it. Excellent. Very good. And what is the form of the verb? 
Past participle. Past participle. Very good. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you? Fine. <laughs> How was your day? Um, for me, today was a little relaxed. Nice. More relaxed than yesterday. <laughs> good, good. Where do you work, Yolanda? In Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh, okay. Carla, you too? Yes, I, I, I thanks. I got my uh -huh. day very good. Good. Do you work for Ministerio de Hacienda too, Carla? No, no. Where do you work, Carla? Uh, uh, apartment administration. Oh, right, right. Yes, I remember you told me that. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice. And where do you live, Carla? In Montserrat. Montserrat. What about you, Yolanda? Where do you live? I live in Residencial Los Eucaliptos near San Antonio Valle. Los eucaliptos, okay. Is there a reference point for that no. residential? Uh, it's um, one block before to uh, 75 North Avenue. Okay, 75th, okay, so, uh, okay. Uh, All right. It's on San Antonio Bad Street. Right, near Montefresco? Near, yeah, very, very close. Okay. All right, good. Let me visit another classroom and then we go back to the main session. Okay. All right. For uh, the main is uh, IT. Oh, yes, IT. Um, and I, I, I have a one year and a half to work for the the IRS. Uh, yes. One year and a half. Hey. Yes. And where yes. did you work before? Uh, well, I was working in Banco Agricola. Oh, okay. For 27 years. That's a long time. A lot of time. What branch, Jorge? Sorry? What branch? Branch. I, I don't understand. Branch being sucursal. What oh, branch? Yeah. I'm working in uh, the uh, on, uh, IT uh, IT area. Uh huh. And the super uh, the branch is uh, Escalon in uh, front of in front of a uh, school uh, uh, around the galerias. Okay. All right. Good. Good. I I used to teach in Banco Agricola uh, on on constitution and in, in front of the Salvador del Mundo, that okay. branch, that branch, many years ago, many years ago. Rosa. That's the power. That's this prison. Yeah. Okay, can you hear me? 